Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. You're looking at screensaver videos as downloaded to my computer by way of Electric Sheep. That's the name of the screensaver. More information can be found at electricsheep.org. And yes, you can install this screensaver on your computer, whether you're running Mac OS X, Windows, or Linux. I've decided to hold on to all the videos that Electric Sheep downloads uh, just because huh, it's beautiful animation. The animation, by the way, was created by everybody who happens to be running the Electric Sheep screensaver. Again, electricsheep.org. And I don't change my screensavers frequently because every time I do, inevitably I get flooded with emails asking me, hey, where'd you get that screensaver? So uh, this is what's going to be running on my desktop, at least at this point in time. And even when it's not, at least you can run it on your desktop. You might remember the program Oxidizer, which I had featured a while ago. Uh, it's essentially the same foundation that runs Electric Sheep. And uh, to basically read from the website, it's essentially a collaborative abstract artwork founded by Scott Draves, run by thousands of people all over the world, and when your computer goes to sleep, quote unquote, the electric sheep comes on and computers communicate with one another by way of the internet to share the work of creating morphing abstract animations, also known as sheep. The result is a collective android dream, which, if you remember Philip K. Dick's novel, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Well, maybe this is all coming together for you. If you're not familiar with the novel, you might be familiar with the movie that was inspired by the novel. Blade Runner, starring Harrison Ford. And uh, the website continues, Anyone watching any one of these computers may vote for their favorite animations using the keyboard. The more popular sheep live longer and reproduce according to a genetic algorithm with mutation and crossover. Hence, the flock evolves to please its global audience. You can also design your own sheep and then submit them to the gene pool. Electricsheep.org I don't really have too much to say about the screensaver beyond what has been said, give it a shot for yourself. Um, it's always going to be different. Uh, you can save the videos and use them however you want to use them, as I'm using it right now to record uh, this particular YouTube video. My email address, chris at perillo.com, in case you know of any other wicked awesome screensavers that I might be able to run uh, however, don't tell me about something that won't run cross-platform. And right now, my desktop happens to be running Mac OS X, so I'm not really interested in Windows-only screensavers, or, for that matter, Linux-only screensavers. I do prefer something that's cross-platform so that the whole community can play along. We've got our own community of tech enthusiasts, geeks.perillo.com. I've also got LockerGnome.com, where I've been making software recommendations for the better part of a decade and have now invited anybody to join us. So long as you have excellent writing skills, we'll essentially give you a, a cut of the Google AdSense revenue. That, again, is on LockerGnome.com. That's different from LockerGnome.net, where anybody can sign up for a free WordPress blog. You can check either one of them out. They'll be worth your time. Twitter.com slash Chris Perillo or Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo is where you can find me floating around on the web. Well, you know, in a social media capacity. Of course, you already know about the YouTube channel. And I've also got a blog, Chris.Perillo.com. We've got an annual conference. We're heading into our 10th year, GnomeDex.com. And uh, stay tuned for more information about that. You can have fun with text right now in your web browser by heading over to funacode.perillo.com and be surprised if you hadn't seen that already since thousands of you are already using it on Facebook and Twitter and then of course you can find me streaming on the web as I mentioned before if I'm not sitting at my desk you will see some kind of screensaver running on my two 30 inch screens and some people might argue hey you're wasting energy yes but I'm putting on quite a show. Right now, I'm being broadcast in 16 by 9 aspect ratio. That's widescreen format at 30 frames a second. And that's 24 hours a day. 
seven days a week. You never really know what's going to be happening. But we are typically talking tech with that live video feed in conjunction with the chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.